everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. In the last episode, we managed to finish off, or most of, Jellyfish Field. In this episode, we have a weird looking SpongeBob, and we're heading off to downtown Bikini Bolton. Now, I apologize for the lack of updates in this video. I will be honest, I've been busy um, playing Animal Crossing New Leaf. And a lot of other things, not just New Leaf, but I've just been preoccupied, so I haven't been able to work on videos too much. But I'm hoping to get a nice, um, steady stream of videos out, uh, now that I have more time. Now, I'm using this microphone. It may not sound as good as my other one, but it's a trade-off. You either have the constant rattling in my other microphone, or you can have that little static sound in this microphone. I'm saving up for a better mic soon, so... Bear with me for now. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. <laughs> Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? Or why don't we just run out of the Burning city? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. So, we can see the objective of this level is finding all of these, um, steering wheels. Now, some of them... Okay, got two. When SpongeBob touches this ball, he will change into a SpongeBob. You can roll as quickly as a SpongeBob, but you cannot do anything else. Being hurt or pressing any button will change you back into your normal self. Now, the SpongeBob is used to get through, um... Areas like say there's gonna be an impossible time limit to so watch. I have three seconds to run there. That's impossible to run. However, if I were to hit the button again, grab the sponge ball, and there you go. Barely made it, but you see, the, you see how it works. Oh, uh, if you want to come over, you want to come over here first. Uh, boy, get out of here. We're going to. Uh, take care of this over here. Now, you, we have a cannon shooting at us. The cannon will constantly shoot at where we are currently at, or attempt to. It has bad aim, but eh, what you want to do is hit, go for all of these thunder tikis. Like I said, it has bad aim. Which one, and what will happen is it will destroy all the tikis above and reveal switches. What you want to do is activate all of these, hit the switches, and that was close. So, sometimes it takes forever, so you want to maze activate it yourself. It's a great way to get shiny objects, too. And I think there's a sock up here? I guess not. Oh, hello. Aim! Do you have it, sir? Sir, can you aim a bit higher? There you go. See? Now, it wasn't that easy. Now, do the same thing here. Or, well, I can just... That's gonna hit it, isn't it? No, it's not. You sir have horrible aim. Right. And I... As I see, he has horrible aim. I missed the switch. And in comedic fashion, an anvil hits it. And we get, for our troubles, a golden spatula. And there we go. Sorry if you hear my Facebook in the background. I should probably turn that off or not even be on Facebook while recording. So now we have 12 golden spatulas. Let's see what other missions are there. All right, end of the road. Tiki goes for Tiki Go. Boom! That's an interesting name for a mission. Now there are a few shortcuts you can unlock. Well, not unlock, but make by destroying these thunder tikis. But you have to, you know, be on that side of the fence, obviously. So we're gonna roll our way over, and we'll have an introduction to a new enemy. And 
Again, in comedic fashion, Gary, that little smug little, throws an anvil and destroys one of the robots. This robot is called a G... a G... <laughs> a G-love. Glove. The best way to deal with this is a bubble bounce from above. So as you can see, it's spinning at you and, you, and any frontal attacks will damage you. You have to go from above to destroy it, like you just saw me do a few seconds ago. Or Tiki's to destroy, and I think there's a sock around here. Nope, that's just the barrier. We're gonna destroy these. Uh, let's see anything else over here. Just wanna do a good exploration. Okay, it's for a shiny object. See, they lead these um, winding paths for, like, shiny objects, which I think is kind of misleading. I don't know. Destroy that creates a shortcut. Now, I hate this one, because you have all this hot sauce all around you have to avoid. Because, yeah, guys, hot sauce is just so hot, it'll actually burn you. Just like tartar sauce. And can I make it? Oh, yeah, plenty of time, too. And another cannon shooting furniture at us. There's actually a glitch where it just randomly stops. I don't know why. I mean, maybe... I don't know, this is a GameCube game from, like, 2002. This game is, I think, pretty impressive for a GameCube, PS2, and an Xbox game. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. It's been so long since that, since that gen. It's just been... yeah. What I want to do here is hit the switch, which will have a... Boat up here and a ramp. What you want to do is some parkour action and platforming here. We're gonna roll the ball over the ramp, and I failed that. You want to bounce off and get up there. Did I not fail today? All right. Let's try that again. Like I said, we're gonna do some flawless parkour platforming action. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Power. Oh, no, oh, no, that's cheap. That was cheap, game. G game? Stab. Apparently, someone's mad at their husband and throwing their furniture out the door. How much furniture can they fit in that little thing? We're gonna shut that window. So no more furniture being thrown at us. That's an interesting reason. Like, why is someone throwing furniture at us? I mean, there's no robot in there doing that. And die. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. And destroy his tiki. He destroyed them. Destroyed them. Wow, thanks, dude. Uh, I need the, the underwear. Alright, um... Let's see, where do I want to go from here? I don't, can't go that way, really. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Who knows, but that comes into play later on. Um, if you want to see what come up here... Oh, no, 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 There's a sack. There's a sack up there. Suck. Why is there ice physics here? I'll never know. Okay, I'm going to use this sponge ball here. Bowl for the enemies! Or, or not. Or fail miserably, yeah. Okay, no. Die. Okay, and, and hurt me, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that too, I guess. Whatever. Uh, can I go back there? I can't go back there yet. I'm gonna get in there and take out that duplicate Tron. Whoa, 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 Spongebob snap! I just run a duplicate of Tron here. We unlock a shortcut back. And we can pay. We can pay shiny objects to go to the Sea Needle, but we're gonna come to that um, last in our adventure here in downtown Bikini Bottom. Which we're gonna do over here. Hi, Gary. Oh, Gary, see how he's doing. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Do you even lift SpongeBob? No, oh, no, why did I even say that? No, forgive me for that one. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean meow? Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. Meow. What do you mean get sandy?
handy to help me. I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. So SpongeBob is your all-around character in the game. We saw that Patrick was the strong character to destroy enemies easy. Now we've unlocked... It's for a second, it's a chain reaction here. Now we've unlocked Sandy Cheeks. We first get her. Sandy is a parkour character. She's good for her jumping abilities. Jump to the top to the top of these steps. Sandy can glide across the gaps as an extra step by pressing the A button three times and keeping it um whatever. So we can, you know, one she had basically a triple jump. One, two, three. Whoa! I'm gonna mess that up badly. Now if we go down there, I think we can make another shortcut, but it's not worth doing, I'll do that off camera. So what you want to do here is just use her flying action to get through these um, obstacles. Not too hard, really. There are a few trollsome ones where you have robots that can shoot you out of the sky, which get it very annoying. Basically, is explaining how she can use her Karate to destroy stuff. This is a tutorial where she can lasso things from afar, which comes which comes in handy for taking out robots who are extremely far away and you don't want to get close to get, get very close to. This is where it demonstrates Sandy's swing ability, where she can swing, swing across large gaps and distances. Alright, we're gonna... Shouldn't have came too close. You can also last the robots like so. Good old Rodeo. Ro or Rodeo, sorry. And a uh, Duplicatotron. And it made another one. Oh well. You're the last of your kind! I'll destroy you later. Eh, he'll risk. There'll be another one later. Just not from that machine. And doing that, we'll unlock the warp box. And I think we want to come over this way. Okay, and there's a sock. I don't know how to get that one. Here's another one. I'm gonna just, just attempt to get that sock. Can I get that? No, I can't. Alright, so let's see, where's that sack at? Let's swing in that direction. And can we make it? We'll make it, yep. And how many socks are. Okay, there's only nine socks, so we're, we're making. We almost got a third of them already. Can I make that jump? Her lasso also runs out eventually. Oh, that's convenient. What's the point of the warp block then? And we come over here, and we have another golden spatula. So, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we will be going off into the lighthouse area. And I promise you, this video, will, this next video, will be out relatively soon because I'm going to record that video once this one's done being edited and rendered. So you, just, so now you know, another episode will be on the way. I'm not abandoning you guys. I have a lot more videos in progress. I have a few discussion videos I'm going to be making. My thoughts on Reggie and Iwata's leadership at Nintendo. My thoughts on what can be seen at a F-Zero Wii U game. Also, my thoughts on how I could see a Grand Theft Auto-style Wario game. This is an idea. Anyway, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, everyone, and until next time, I will talk to you all later. Or in traditional way, this is Gamma Lab, as always, signing off.